In this video, I'll explain to new players what Ghost of Tabor is and what they can expect when they first jump into the game. I'll also add some tips and tricks at the end of the video for everybody to enjoy. So use the timestamps below if you want to skip the introduction part and jump straight into the tips and tricks. So first and foremost, what is Ghost of Tabor? It's an extraction based shooter in VR. Uh, it is player versus player and player versus environment, meaning you can encounter AI controlled characters and player controlled characters when you're in a raid. I'll also put a disclaimer here, like this game is closed alpha right now. That means everything you see is subject to change. There will probably be bugs, maybe even crashes, but these will probably be fixed until the full release of the game. Uh, so with that out of the way, as a new player, when you spawn in, you'll see screens with the calibration of your height and calibration of the effects on the screen. Uh, after you set this up to match your specific head mounted display, uh, you need to do a few things. First you need to do is unlock the armory, or at least that's my suggestion. You use the card in this door and use the card in that door, and then you have access to the full armory. In the armory, you can store armors and helmets in the lockers. You can store weapons and magazines and grenades on the walls, hang bags on the hooks, place attachments on the tables and in the drawers. You can also craft ammunition and use an, an automatic ammunition loader with the ammo you have. So, um, <clears throat> after you unlock the armory, you need to take the dark green card and unlock the trade room. In the trade room, you can either hand in items for quests or sell them to the different traders. Uh, if you put stuff here on accident, that goes in and disappears. There is a like reverse button, or it looks like a retry button. Uh, that will make the the things that you put there by mistake end up on this screen instead, and then you can receive it and get it back. And this screen is also used for receiving items you bought from traders. So um, this wall will flip around and they will hang here. Uh, the favorites tab here is a really nice feature that they added in the latest patch. And I'll show you how this works later, but basically you can assemble a pistol at the trader, scan the whole weapon, or if it's in a, a primer weapon, scan the whole weapon and then save that as a favorite. And then you don't have to go and get the individual parts every time. You can just instantly purchase the completely modified weapon instantly. This saves so much time. Uh, they've also added the option to uh, to favorite anything. And I tried to favorite multiple uh, magazines of a weapon, but I can only buy one at a time. So for now, I would not suggest using the favorites for, for magazines. There is a better way. Uh, and I'll get to that in the tip section of the video. But now you unlocked the rooms. What to do now? Uh, my suggestion is to level the traders. Like, look at leveling the traders. Look at the different tasks there are, there are. But I would suggest focusing on Spectre. Spectre is the trader that sells you weapons. And you want to get access to the better weapons ASAP. Because the starter pistol that you can buy, is, it frankly, it, it isn't that good. It, it, it works against the NPC. But if you encounter a player that has armor, it's it's going to be rough. That pistol is really not that great. Uh, so my suggestion is uh, take the task to kill five NPCs with handgun. And I suggest new players always go in with a pistol, an armored rig, and two magazine pouches. Right? Because uh, you don't want to go in like a hatchling in Tarkov and go in without anything and just scour through the boxes, hope you get a weapon, because you will make a lot of noise, you will attract other players, and if you don't have a weapon, you don't even have the chance of defending yourself. So just the 
you start with 200k, at least in this patch. So always go and buy a weapon, buy magazines, buy mag pouches, and play with two extra mags. So take that task. And then you have two tasks that actually synergize really well with that. I've already accepted them, and it's the task from the Death Merchant to kill five NPCs without dying, and the task from uh, Shiro to kill five NPCs with FMJ rounds. And the standard default round in the weapons are FMJ, so uh, the Spectre one and the Shiro one, you can die, it will not reset the progress. The Merchant of Death, if you die before completing the task, uh, it will say fail here, and you need to abandon it and take it again. If you have five kills though, so the quest is completed in raid, it will not be fail, since you've already completed it, and you can still hand it in when you get back, get back here. So it's worth taking. Uh, then I usually take uh, the task from uh, the hospital to uh, just complete five raids, and the task from uh, Jiris to complete five raids. The Tabor Hospital one, you cannot die. So that's the same thing as the Merchant of Death, then you need to reset it. Um, so when you spawn in, before before jumping into raid, make sure you pick up this armored rig, it's free. Pick up the bag. To remove an armored rig, you use the index finger or the trigger and the grip button at the same time at your shoulder. Then you grab your armor, and you can throw it away and change for a better one in raid. To grab the bag, you just press the grip button. While holding it, you can press the trigger button to open and close it. So here comes tip number one. And tip number one is about armor. More specifically, helmets. So this is the first helmet you can purchase straight off the bat when you get into Tabor. And you could think like, Oh, I don't. I'm not gonna get hit in the head. Why would I use a helmet? Uh, if I get hit in the head, I'm dead anyway. So why waste the money? No, you should definitely use a helmet, and I'll show you why. So over here, this is the first helmet you can buy in the game from Traders Level Zero, and this is the pistol you can buy, Traders Level Zero. And you might think, why would I waste money on helmets? And um, and especially the starter helmet that doesn't have that good protection. And the thing is, when people are rocking starter pistol, or even other weapons, it's really useful to have a helmet. Uh, in, in contrast to Escape from Tarkov, helmets in this game is not arcadey. Oh, is it this, uh, is it this ammunition type, uh, and is it shot from this distance, then it penetrates? No, no, no. This is much more complex. Uh, they calculate angle and mass of bullet and stuff like that to to see if the bullet will penetrate. So say that you have the starter pistol and you sneak up on someone that has this helmet and you aim a bit poorly at the side. Did you see that ricochet? <laughs> hit, <laughs> hit the stomach over here. If you hit where there's angles, you see quite a few of these bullets Ricochet. Sure, if I hit it like flat on square on, yeah, that's gonna penetrate. But uh, hitting at an angle has an increased chance of making the bullet ricochet. So having a helmet will definitely save your life. And the higher armor class, the bigger the chance of ricochet is. So I mean, if we test with this bad boy instead, I'm gonna go and grab a new magazine. Uh, See, even the face shield ricochets. So, yeah, wear, <laughs> wear a helmet. The next tip is that um, go into offline raid before going into an online raid. Press training. <clears throat> in training, the loot you take in uh, will not be lost and the loot you take out will not be saved. So it's like the, the offline mode or the co-op mode in Tarkov. It's really good to learn the map. I suggest doing that highly. 
Okay. So, setting up a favorite weapon. This is my next tip. If you have a loadout, you're often rocking, like I have with my 5.7. You can save it as a preset, if you will, blueprint. And you can buy the whole customized weapon instantly. And I'll show you how to do that. You go to the market. You go to gun. And let's say I want to set up an assault rifle. And I want to set up, uh, not those, here we go, now we're talking, uh, oh there's actually some new ones, let me see, right, so I haven't unlocked every, okay, like this, I want to play with the scar, the scar is going to be my default loadout. Right. I take the scar, I go back, I go to I go to gun attachments, silencer. That's the first thing I want. Okay, so we have the SMG, we have the pistol, we have assault rifle and assault rifle. Okay. I don't really know the difference between these two. But let's go with the full green that place it and then we want a grip and we'll take the g4 grip put it on where you want it uh, you can slide it forward if you want to grip it further from All right and then you have the laser yeah i want the laser as well put it on this side And then I want the sight. And I actually am not sure which one I want to use, but um, yeah, let's go with the OPK 7 Okay, there we go. And I also need a magazine for an assault rifle. And we want the SCAR one. Now we have our finished preset. Now I will just scan the whole thing. Custom scar. Like that. And then I favorite it. And it's gonna cost me 14k. And I actually don't have to buy it since I've favorited it now. So I'm just gonna just gonna drop it here. Uh, and then we go back to the safe house. to the trade room, go to favorites, scroll down, there we have custom scar, and I'll buy it. And then I'll go to purchase list and go to receive item. There we go. There we have our custom scar. So, the next tip has to do with jumping. You can jump and crouch, and that can get you through areas that you didn't get to any other way. Here's a perfect example. I've had multiple firefights in this corridor where people have been in, in this corridor to the left over here. I've been coming from here and I've been, yeah, pushed when I'm in the next room. And people are in the silo as well. So you, you get into a crossfire situation and you want to get out of there. But retreating, you're, that's a dead end. But this place here, you can jump and crouch through. So just jumping, you will get, you will get stuck. But you can jump and crouch uh, if I don't flip the stick. And then I crouch to get under the ceiling, and then I'm over. Have a new angle. Yeah, like that. And it works in both directions. So, say you're coming from here. You have been slow looting when you spawned. Either someone's coming from there, someone's coming from there, or someone's trying to open squeaky, open squeaky. You can go here, you can crouch, uh, you can jump again, 
and then you're over. Then you can come here, run here, and you have time to kill them before they open squeaky completely. I told you it's not a good idea to favorite uh, magazines since you could just buy one at a time and couldn't, like, there's no way to buy multiples. So it will take. It will take some time, like buying one, flipping over to purchase list, retrieving it, putting it in your... Yeah, it's going to take time. And until you've unlocked uh, the armors you want to run with, you cannot make a favorite that is the armor with the armor modules attached. At level zero, you're only going to have the armor modules, not the armors to buy. So my suggestion for um, when you first start playing is a, a little trick that i use to store multiple magazines and multiple armor modules in the same place and and this will save you a lot of time no having to click favorite back and forth multiple times to just get one at a time this way you you will have multiple stored at the same place so what you want to do is you want to go grab a bag then you want to go to the market And I like to play with the 5.7, so I'm going to buy magazines for a handgun. Then I'm going to go to 5.7, I'm going to buy one, going to max that out to 10. Then I'll scan another one. Uh, right, we need to do this, scan another one. Okay, I can't do that anymore. Uh, but okay, we have 10. And then we click buy. And then we go over to the armor merchant. We select armor, we select armor modules, and I want the pistol modules. And I go to checkout and I'll max it up to 10. Then we go back to the safe house. We'll go and grab another bag. And we'll go in here. We'll receive items. Open the bag, and we'll start placing the magazines. Like this. And keep them as tight as possible. So we will be able to fit all of them. And then we start grabbing the armor modules, and place them like this as well, just build a tower with them, that was all, then we go to the next page, like this, and grab that magazine as well, there we go. Like this. Then we take this bag, we run over to the armory, and uh, let's see what's in this bag, nothing. And we'll hang it on the wall. Um, this way, they will be saved. <clears throat> As it works now, stuff you put in bags and hang on walls gets saved. Uh, why we want to do it like this is. Firstly, I, I would love to just buy everything I need every time I die from the fairies list. But since you can only buy one armor module and one uh, magazine at a time, and you need to flip back and forth between the screen and pick it up every time, that's inefficient. And I haven't unlocked new armors uh, at the armor trader yet, because I haven't increased the reputation with her. Uh, so I can't buy a, a custom armor that already has the the mag pouches attached to them. Okay, so what I do is you can buy multiples and then put them on the armor so you have armors prepared. But what if you don't have any armors? Or uh, what if the armors you have already have attachments on them? Or yeah, you get the point. You want them stored somewhere. And since I don't have armors to attach them to yet, uh, and I can't save them on the table, I can't save them in the drawer, I can't save them on the wall, this way is much more efficient. The same goes for mag. And why I do it like this is until they've added, like, this will all become 
unnecessary when you can buy multiple using the favorite screen. But right now you can't. So right now, this is what I think the most efficient way of having it. You go to the store once, you buy multiples, and you have it like this. So you don't have to go to the store multiple times. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a comment and say what you think, if there's anything I can do better, or if there's anything I've done well. Uh, I'm going to try and keep like posting videos every now and then. Uh, like I have a full-time job, so... Uh, I only do this in my spare time when I'm not with my fiance. So, uh, but yeah, leave a comment, like and subscribe if you want to. I, I would appreciate it really much. And I hope to see you in Tabor. Peace out. Bye.